Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Aaron Minkowski looking at your Wednesday weather forecast. It's going to be a wonderful day today. A little fog this morning across the southern tier. Otherwise, partly to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s by lunchtime. Mid to upper 70s this afternoon. Winds will be light out of the northeast around 10 miles per hour. Clear to partly cloudy tonight. Overnight lows dropping back into the 50s. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much. Good morning to you. Taking you through the 716 in two minutes. I'm Ed Drench. And I'm Katie Morris. Here's a look at what's happening. Yes. All right. It was a historic night in New York, turning now into a historic day for survivors of alleged child sex abuse. At exactly midnight, applause rang in a year-long window for those survivors to take legal action against their alleged abusers, no matter how long ago it happened. In the past, most victims had to file claims by the time they turned 23. And you just get a sense, speaking to them, how empowered they are by this, how validating this is, and that's just such a joy to see. Well, you can view our full coverage of the Child Victims Act going into effect right now on WKBW.com. Three million dollars is on its way to the Buffalo Olmstead Parks Conservancy, and now we know how much money is going to be used and where. It'll be broken down into three parts. Half will be used to encourage the community to match the money for park improvements. $900,000 will be used for park operations and equipment. $600,000 is for planning and studies. And that's the 716 for you in two minutes. We'll be back before noon with another update. Have a great Wednesday.